Leo, it's B. Welcome to my channel, Psychic Sounds by B. Thank you so much for joining me. This reading is for Leo Sun, Leo Moon, Leo Rising. Also, if you have a lot of planets in Leo in your natal chart, this reading is for you as well. I would like to let everybody know that I have disabled my PayPal button and I will not be doing personal readings for purchase until March 1st of 2017. Thank you so much for all of your support, your likes, your shares, your subscribes. I certainly do appreciate it. For those of you that would like to support my channel, you can just click on the support button below and make a donation if you so feel inclined. Also, I do apologize for the tardiness of these videos. I've been going through a lot of stuff in my personal life and I have had illumination in my personal life as well. So um, now I'm even more uh, inclined to ensure that the energy that I share with certain people are people that deserve it and of course you know my subscribers are those people as well and um, I'm kind of pulling my energy back and I'm getting my energy back I'm getting my vavoom back I'm getting my life back so that's awesome I also did have an uncle that passed away as well as one that was in the hospital so all of these reasons are basically what is transpiring uh, regarding the tardiness of these videos. So thank you so much for your patience. All right, Leos, let's go ahead and let's get started on your astrological alignments. Leo, the sun is in your fourth house and is going to be moving into your fifth house on the 22nd of November. So when the sun is in your fourth house, this is everything to do with your home, your domicile, who you are at a core level, your family. So there is something being illuminated in this particular area of your life for you to address. Then when it moves into your fifth house, this is all about romance, children, and creativity, and risk-taking. So there is illumination in this particular area of your life as well. This is giving you the fire. This is giving you the gumption to be able to make changes in your life as it relates to these aspects. Mercury is in Scorpio and is moving into, into Sag on the 13th. This is also going from your fourth house to your fifth house. So now there are discussions about this per these particular areas of your life as well. Venus is in Sag and then moves into Capricorn on the 12th. So this is going from your fifth house to your sixth house. With Venus in your fifth house, this is gorgeous. This is beautiful. This is giving you love, harmony, compassion, kindness, forgiveness in any area as it relates to your children, as it relates to your creative ventures as it relates to your romance or your risk taking. And then when it moves into your sixth house, this also rules pets as well. Um, when it moves into your sixth house, then you have Venus in your reputation sector. So you are going to be looking very favorable to people on the outside. So that is gorgeous. This also comes in with daily duties, work duties and daily errands as well and health. So that is wonderful. So take Venus's blessings and use them to your advantage. Mars is in Capricorn and moving into Aquarius on the 10th. So for you, this is going from your sixth house to your seventh house. With Mars in your sixth house, there could have been some passion and aggression as it relates to areas of your life regarding reputation, regarding health, regarding uh, your, um, your daily duties. And then when it moves from Mars in Capricorn into Aquarius, it's going into your seventh house of partnerships, business partnerships, romantic partnerships. Make sure that you go more towards the passionate side as opposed to the aggressive side because Mars can be really aggressive when he's out of control. So try to contain that energy. Neptune is, um, and also when it's in your sixth house, Mars could be helping you with some health issues, but it could also be inflaming some things in your life as well so just be aware of that neptune is direct on the 20th and uh, this is in your eighth house of intimacy and joint finances with neptune in your house of intimacy and joint finances having gone retrograde you got a big wake-up call as it relates to what intimacy really is how joint finances really affect you so now that you have that wake-up call, those rose-colored glasses came off, when Neptune starts going direct and those rose-colored glasses come back on, you need to take those lessons you learned from Neptune retrograde and bring them with you when Neptune starts going direct on the 20th. The new moon is on November 29th in Sag, but it is being opposed by Neptune, 
and this is in your fifth house of romance, children, and creativity. You definitely have the rose-colored glasses on here. Please be careful that you are not deceived as it relates to romance, children, or creativity, and set your intentions for what you want, not for what you don't want. You might want to set your intentions four to five days after the actual new moon, um, so it would be around the 4th or the 5th of December. The full moon is on November 14th, and this is in Taurus, and for you, this is in your 10th house of status and career. So for a lot of you um, Leos out there, there could be a culmination and ending or a climax as it relates to uh, your status and career relative to Taurian characteristics of possessions, real estate, um, uh, standing your ground, stubbornness, that type of energy. Okay, Leos, well, let's go ahead and let's get started on your general reading for the month of November of 2016. So what do we got going on for the Leos out there? Leos, general energy for November of 2016. Leos, general energy, November of 2016. Leos, general energy, November 2016. Here's your general energy. What do we have going on for your work life and financial life, Leos? Here's your work life and financial life. What do we have going on for your emotional life and love life, Leos? Emotional life and love life. Emotional life and love life for Leos. Emotional life and love life for Leos. Is that it? There's your emotional life and love life. What do we have going on for your health, Leos? What's going on with your health? Health for Leos. Health for Leos. Here's your health, Leos. What do we have going on for your Archangel Guidance, Leos? Archangel Guidance. Archangel Guidance. And what do we have going on with your Energy Oracle card? These are the new Oracle cards that I have. They're by Sandra Ann Taylor. And they've been working out really, really well. So let's see what's going on for the Leos out there. Here is your Energy Oracle card for November. All right, Leos, what do we have going on for your general energies for the month of November of 2016? Leos, for the general energy for the month of November of 2016, you have the Six of Pentacles. The Six of Pentacles is all about finding the balance, making sure that what you're giving is what you're getting making sure that what you're getting is what you're giving. Um, this is also, I've, I've heard in several different um, aspects and what I've read and, and everything in research, is that this is also alms dispensed with justice. So as it relates to alms being dispensed with justice, there is some level of uh, maybe a lesson or, or information that came to the surface, but it had the, the pangs of, of hard justice, okay, where it was fair and people thought they were being fair. You thought you, thought you were being fair. Um, people were standing their ground. They were standing in their integrity and you had to stand in your integrity. So that could be what's going on for some of you Leos out there. As it relates to other types of general energies, this could be you giving money to charity. This could also be you giving money to your children. Maybe you're putting a new allowance for your children or something like that. You could be putting money away or putting money in savings for your child uh, as your child is in college. That could be. Um, this could also have something to do with legal, law, um, contracts, um, litigation in some way, shape, or form. For some of you Leos out there, you could be um, uh, getting alimony or for other Leos out there, you could be paying out alimony. So please just be aware that this is the energy around you for November of 2016. Okay, what do we have going on for your work life and financial life? Well, for your work life and financial life, you have the Eight of Cups. There is a project or something that you were doing that you put a lot of time, a lot of energy, a lot of effort into, and you are walking away from it. This could be um, this energy of the Six of Pentacles that either maybe you were giving too much or somebody else was giving too much and there was no reciprocation. So you had to walk away from it. For others of you Leos out there, somebody walked away from you. Everything that you built, everything that you put together, everything that you put effort into, this person simply walked away probably because um, they may have been giving and you were just taking or if you walked away, you were giving and they were taking from you. 
So that could be what's going on for some of you Leos out there. You are embarking on a new path or they are embarking on a new path or there is somebody around you that is embarking on a new path. Uh, as it relates to getting a job or getting a deal or getting a contract, you did put a lot of effort into it and you're walking away from it or the person that reviewed your work is basically saying, you know what, I'm not interested. Um, I am going to be moving forward with someone else. So just be aware of this, uh, Leos. This, this does sometimes happen. Uh, this could be because some type of truth was illuminated that you were not expecting or some type of truth was illuminated that they were not expecting, which caused a, a different dynamic in this particular relationship. So just be aware of that, Leos. Um, it's not the end of the world. It just basically means that um, either you're walking away or somebody else is walking away from something that was built. And um, either they or you are going to have to live with the consequences of walking away and giving up on somebody. So either they gave up on you or you gave up on them and you are going to have to live with the consequences of that choice. Because it does appear that while there was a reciprocation in the relationship. It's like you were giving 80%, they were giving 20, or they were giving 80% and you were giving 20. So there's something about this that was out of balance and you simply need to walk away or be given the isolation that you need in order to determine, you know, how can I handle, you know, this situation in the future if it comes up again? Or how can I make this a successful uh, partnership or a successful uh, contract without um, being so having such high expectations and without giving in so quickly. Okay, so that could be for some of you out there. And what do we have going on for your emotional life and love life? For your emotional life and love life, Leos, you have the Four of Swords. Um, somebody in your life is taking a break from you or you are taking a break from them. This uh, Four of Swords always follows the Three of Swords, and the Three of Swords is always about separation, delay, heartache, disappointment, um, an inability to see eye to eye, um, something happening regarding communication that could have happened as it relates to your emotional life and love life. This person may have felt that they were betrayed. You may have felt that you were betrayed. It's highly likely both of you were betrayed. So either you hid something from them and they hid something from you or you hid something from them and they called you out on it and it just took you off guard and you just didn't know how to handle it. So your perspective on the situation was to just walk away or their perspective on the situation was to walk away because somebody's value was being, um, was being compromised in this particular situation. So a lot of you Leos are, you know, some of you might even be praying that this person contacts you again or that you still have another chance with this person or they might be praying about that with you. Um, basically, this, this generally would be you. So you are getting respite from this particular situation so you can find the discernment that you need to determine whether or not you want to um, give what it is this person needs and whether or not they are going to give you what you need as well. For some of you Leos out there in a happy and loving bond, you could have walked away from a uh, home renovation. You could have walked away from something you were building and you just decided, you know what, I'm just not going to deal with it right now. I've got too many things going on and that could be what's going on for some of you Leos out there. So just be aware of this. Your heart is healing right now, Leo. This is what's happening. And basically what has happened, because the alms were dispensed with justice, you are trying to determine what was my part in this situation? What was their part in this situation? If I would have acted differently, would have the outcome been the same? Okay, and they might be thinking about that uh, with you as well. So just be aware of these particular energies as they're moving around you for November of 2016. So what do we have for your health? For your health, Leos, you've got the Three of Wands. 
I'm definitely sensing for some of you Leos there was a third party that was involved in this particular situation. You may have had, um, you may have been keeping a secret from this person that maybe you were attached and they found out that you were still attached and um, they kind of went off the rails. I mean, that's basically what I'm feeling about this. And you have to understand that maybe the reason they went off the rails was because they felt betrayed. They felt like, okay, I built this beautiful reciprocal relationship with you and you couldn't even tell me that you were attached. You couldn't even tell me what was going on in your life so I could make an informed decision. So just be aware of that, Leos. For others of you, Leos, you may be feeling that way about somebody else. There could have been third party interference with this particular situation. It could be business, it could be romance, um, it could be finances, it could be school. However this works for you guys, this is a general reading. As it relates to health, you are partnering potentially or you have put um, some research into something as it relates to um, getting your health together. For some of you uh, Leos out there, you're getting more sleep. You're walking away from maybe too much alcohol. And now that you're not drinking a lot of alcohol, you're losing weight. So that is really beautiful. So please just be aware that some of you Leos out there, you are losing weight because you are being a little bit more careful about what you consume. And that is beautiful. Um, you're trying to get your sleep. You're trying to do your meditations. You're trying to be more loving and kind. You're trying to be in rela relationships that are reciprocated relationships. So just be aware that this energy is out there for you. This also could be contracts, negotiations. And again, for some of you, you're walking away from a contract or a negotiation or um, somebody else is walking away from a contract or a negotiation. You're waiting for that response. You're waiting for that news. And uh, what I'm seeing here is about 60% of you are going to get a response. The other 40% of you, you just need to let it go. Okay. And maybe they'll respond in the future. Maybe they won't, but just let it go. All right. So what do we got going on for your Archangel guidance? Victory. Beautiful. Your, pro your prayers have been heard and answered. Have faith. So a lot of you are praying about this particular relationship. So if you had a knock them out, drag them out fight, if accusations were out there, if you had a moment or if they had a moment, by taking that break, by you know, um, taking a moment to go back and go within and analyze your particular, um, your particular role in that issue or their particular role in that issue. If you are praying about it and you are asking universe that you really want this relationship to work, your prayers will be answered in November. It will work, but you have to communicate you have to be reciprocating. You have to give and receive. You can't just receive, 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 because if you do that, then the people around you will feel dead on the inside. They'll feel like they're being used and they'll start asking questions that are not comfortable questions. And you need to be prepared to start, you know, allowing more reciprocation in the relationship. And they also, have to be more reciprocating in the relationship as well. So what do we have for your energy oracle card? Adjacent possibilities. When adjacent possibilities comes up, this is all about synchronicity. This is all about something that is happening now is happening for a reason. Okay, so say that you had a knock them out, drag them out fight with a business partner or a romantic partner. And basically what's happening here is that they are giving you the tools that you need in order to identify maybe some weaknesses that you have in your life. And you are able to strengthen those weaknesses so that you can move forward in that relationship in a more positive and in a more, um, in a more, optimistic sense 
you know, so you don't hold in those negative energies and you don't, because sometimes when we hold negative energies within, we hold old baggage in. People around us have to match that energy. They have to actually match it. So even though, you know, everything was fine and hunky-dory and working out well, if you were holding negative baggage in your person, that could be the reason why they had to match your energies and give you the negativity that you're holding inside. So you have to release that negative energy in order to understand that um, that is the key to making sure that you have you know, the tools that you need to move forward. So as adjacent possibilities comes through, there could be a potentially where, um, you know, if it was somebody or it was a business uh, proposition uh, that fell through, something better is coming in, or it could be that you have another opportunity with this particular person or this particular business venture. Okay, so, so just take your time, get your respite, pray what you need to pray about, it's, it's going to be okay. You just need to make sure that what you're getting is what you're giving and what you're giving is what you're getting. If you're in a third party situation, you need to ensure that you are completely free and clear before you move forward on a partnership. Okay, so just be aware that that energy is out there for you. Okay, there we go. I, um, I hope that this reading helped you out in some way. And also I'm hearing when one door closes, another door opens. So um, if one door is closing on you for whatever reason, there is another door opening and it could be a door to spirit. It could be a door to realization. It could be a door to illumination on how it is that you need to conduct yourself in the future regarding this situation. So just kind of be aware of that. All right, guys, I just had to say that. But anyway, your prayers, as you pray, your prayers are being answered. You're, you're being heard. So that is beautiful. But you do have some baggage that you have to get rid of from your past in order to move forward in a new way on the path that you started. Or you need to just walk down a different path. All right. I wish you much light, much love, and many blessings, Leos. Take care of yourselves. Namaste.